Welcome back to Sportsbook Review Videos. Happy Thanksgiving to all of those out there celebrating and to help you celebrate this wonderful holiday. I am back with three prop betting picks, both of the player and team prop variety here for your Turkey Day celebration and the three NFL games on tap. We'll start it off with the earliest of the games. And that's the Detroit Lions uh, playing host to the Philadelphia Eagles. And uh, right now, Amir Abdullah's rushing yards prop at 39.5 from Bet365 looks like a great play on the under in this one. Now, Abdullah has gotten some run, but hasn't been as impressive as a lot of people, I think, thought he would be at the beginning of the season. In his last three games, despite the fact that he has gotten some volume in some and hasn't in others, averaging of less than 3.5 yards per carry and even at 39 and a half that would mean that he's going to have to get double digit carries in this one in order to cash the over and I'm not sure it's going to be there for one the Philadelphia Eagles could easily turn things around jump out to an early lead against Detroit I know Detroit has obviously been playing better under Jim Bob Cooter but a lot of variables in this one and I think there's potential that Abdullah could be used just a little bit less this week here against the Philadelphia Eagles despite the game being at home Joy Bell could get some more run so I think you have to look at the under here in this one at 39 and a half. It's a nice way to uh, kick off your Thanksgiving Day props. Now move on over to the next game here, the Carolina Panthers and the Dallas Mavericks. The Panthers come as a plus one underdog, and their team total from Bet365 is sitting at only 22 and a half points, and I think that's easy value on the over in this one. Dallas defense already giving up more than 22 points per game on this one, and going up against a very good and balanced Carolina Panthers offense, I see no reason why the Panthers can't get above the 22 and a half point mark here in this one. Dallas's run defense is very, very poor at home, and the Panthers are going to shove the ball down their throats here on this short week. Obviously might be a little bit ugly just because they are coming off the short week, but Carolina here averaging close to 30 points per game. You have to think they'll be able to get above 22.5 against this poor Dallas defense despite being on the road. So. I'm going to take the over here at minus 120. Now, finally, in the late game this evening, the Green Bay Packers playing host to the Chicago Bears. And actually one of the more interesting games of the Thanksgiving slate, despite the fact that it's an 8.5-point spread. But Aaron Rodgers comes in with a passing yards total of just 260.5. And, and even though obviously didn't play great the first time they played this season, last season in two games, Rodgers averaged over 300 yards per or excuse me, 300 yards passing per game. And I think we could easily see him get above 260 in this one against a poor Bears pass defense at home. I think they should be able to turn some things around. Eddie Lacy finally looked like a credible running back last week going over the 100 yard mark for the first time. If that opens up some of the passing game here for the uh, for the Aaron Rodgers-led Packers, I think you could easily see him get above 260 and a half in this one, no problem. So I'm going to go over in that one at minus 120 as well. Those are your Thanksgiving Day props. Best of luck to you on all three of those. Make sure you check out my Thanksgiving Day parlay as well here in the NFL. A couple of really nice spread plays over there too. But uh, that'll do it for me this time. For Sportsbook Review, I'm Jordan Sharp.